Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with the shortcut method to find the convolution. Now let me tell you in the very beginning that this convolution, this shortcut is only for rectangular pulses. Not applicable to any other sort of signals. So again, uh, if you are given rectangular pulses, so they could either be of the same width or they could be of an unequal width. Right? So I've written over here that the convolution of two rectangular pulses, number one, with equal width results in a triangle. That is case number one. And number two, with unequal width results in a trapezoid. Now I will not be doing the whole calculation, you know, from the very beginning to the start. By the conventional method, I will only show you over here the method, that is the shortcut, okay? Which means I'm not going to prove it over here. The proof you can of course do it by your own self. So case number A with equal width results in a triangle. So let's say case number A. X1 of T is given. This is T. This is X1 of T. It has an amplitude A1. It is non-zero till a capital value of t. Now I'm talking about the equal width case. So x2 would be another signal of t having any amplitude of the same width capital T having amplitude A2 let's say. Now we know that if x1 is non-zero, that is x1 is existing from t from zero to capital T, right? And similarly, x2 is also existing from zero to capital T. So what would the product be? The product that is y of t, it would exist from where the sum of the lower limits 0 0 0 plus 0 would be 0 and sum of the higher limits t plus t is a 2t so the product will exist from 0 to 2t that is something we know from the previous video now the y of t the y of t would be something like this this is t this is y of t how would be the product? It would be a triangle. But what sort of a triangle? So have a look. First, the value would increase, right? Then it would decrease. So this is a triangle that I've drawn. But now we need the values. So what are the values? So uh, have a look. Let me a little elongate it first. If this is my y of t. So the values over here, the starting point, of course, is 0 the ending point of course is 2t have a look at the middle point the middle point is a t the middle point is a t the amplitude the amplitude point is a1 a2 times t a1 a2 times t this is the case fine the area, of course, again, you can find as we talked about in the previous video, if x1 has uh, area a1, x2 has area a2, the area for y of t would be equal to a1 multiply a2. Or let me write an r with it so that we do not confuse it with the, the amplitude. So area area of y of t would be the product of area of 1 and 2. So this is the first case that is of equal width. Now the next case, case number b. So in case number b what do we have? We have an unequal width. So let's say my x1 is uh, this signal x1 of t having an amplitude a1 non-zero till t1 so x1 is non-zero till 
T1. And you have another signal X2 of T which is non zero till T2. The amplitude is A2. The amplitudes could be different in both the cases. But in that case, the width was the same. Over here, the width is different. X2 is non zero from zero till T2. Now, how would be the product in this particular case? So, the product over here that is our Y of T, and I have mentioned this with the green color, so I would mention the product also with the green color. So, Y of T would be represented like this. This is T, this is Y of T. So, you know where would it be non zero? Y of t would be non zero from the sum of lower limits is 0, 0. From 0 till the sum of higher limits t1 plus t2. t1 plus t2. So, uh, so have a look. It starts from 0, it would increase first. This is the case. Then it would become constant and then it would decrease. So, this is how you draw a trapezoid, right? So now again what are the points that need to be mentioned so the points are this point right so this point is t1 from the starting point okay from the starting point this is t1 okay and then this point from the starting point again this is t2 and the final point, this where it is ending, you know, this is a T1 plus T2. So these are all relative to the starting point. And the amplitudes, of course, the amplitude, this amplitude is A1 multiplied A2 and multiply the smaller value of time, which is T1. Which is T1. So this is the case. Now again, if this X1 has an area of A1, and this has an area of area 2. So the area of y would be that is area. This would be the product of area 1 and area 2. And this is the case. So now if I tell you to do a homework. You, you take rectangular pulses. Give them some value of amplitude. Okay. And then find the product. So let's say in the first case. In the first case. You take what? You take this A1 to be 2. You take A1 to be 2 and, and A2 to be let's say again 2. Fine. And take the T equal to 2 as well. So take these two triangular rectangular pulses. You convert them together. You give this result. You get this result. You let me know in the comment section. Yes, you have got this sort of a result. Which means that the answer would be what? 2 2's are 4 and then uh, 2. 4 2's are 8. So the product, this would be like this. This point would be 8. Uh, 8 would be located at uh, 2. This would be 4 and this would be 0. Take this as your homework. Right? You have to derive that particular answer. And in this case, take what? Take A1 equal to let's say 3. Take A2 equal to say 2. Take T1 equal to 2. T2 equal to 4, right? The answer, the answer should be like this. The answer would be that this would be 0 point. T1 is 2, this would be 2 point. T2 is 4, this would be 4 point. And this would be 0 0.6. And this is what your answer would be. A1 multiply A2. If T2 are 6, multiply T1 is 12. And this amplitude will be 12. You get these two in your homework. This is homework question number two. This is your homework question number one. Well, I have given you the answers. You only need to confirm them. And let me know in the comment section. Is this method right working or not? Simple homework. By the conventional method. X of T. X of tau. H of T. H of tau. H of minus tau. H of T minus tau for T less than zero. H of T minus tau for T greater than zero. The product, the integration, that's all. 
For me, that's all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture with the properties of LTI systems. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.